Hey guys, welcome to episode 8 of Create This Book 2. It's been a while since I last posted an episode on this series, but I'm finally back with another one. I really hope you guys will enjoy this one, and let's get straight into the three pages I'm doing for this episode. Let's go. The first page I decided to pick for this episode was this one, and it said to create emphasis. Place multiple things on this page, choose one of them to emphasize using color, size, lines, etc. So I decided to draw a fruit bowl because honestly fruit bowls are like not something that's very commonly drawn and I decided to choose that because I really like fruits a lot and I eat that a lot as well but also because my idea was that I would actually draw a couple a lot of fruits on in the bowl and then I would uh, choose one I would like change one of the fruits color and like emphasize it and just attract it and that fruit was the pear so yeah that is just what I'm doing right now I also tried giving each one of these fruits a couple highlights and I think it came out really great. So to add a little emphasis on the pear, I decided to color it in a gray color because that's not usually the color of a pear. And I also gave some highlights with a white gel pen. Then I was just doing the background. At first I actually drew this brown table. But then when I started painting the background in some pastel pink um, uh, like paint, it did not really match. So I ended up coloring the table black later on instead. So, yeah. And just to finish it off, I gave this black wavy border around the entire page. Here's how the final page turned out. The next page I decided to do for this episode was create word illustration. Incorporate an illustration into a word to show its meaning. So the word I chose was school because it was just the first word that came into my mind when I was drawing on this page so I just went for it. Then I started with actually drawing a clock inside one of the O's and then I gave the entire word like a white border and then behind the word I started drawing this school building just to like make it look a little bit more better and it actually turned out really great. Then I just gave my entire drawing a finishing outline. And then finally, I just started coloring my entire drawing using my markers. And spoiler alert, I basically wasted so much ink on the school building that you will see in the further clips. And I was so mad at myself for that because I wasted a lot of ink on the building of the school. So yeah, I could have used this paint instead, but I didn't. So I was really mad about that, but yeah. How the final page turned out and honestly I really like it and the last page I decided to do for this episode was this one and it said to create a to-do list pretty simple enough then I just started by writing down my to-do list and since I basically write down to-do lists in my journal every single day I just took the to-do list from that of the of that day and I wrote that down which actually included to edit my video to film this video to do my math homework, stay positive, clean my room, and go for a walk, which is basically like my basic to-do list. Then I basically took a yellow marker and I colored entirely that page um, because I wanted it to like give, I wanted to give it like a to-do listy feel. I don't know, I, I don't really know if that makes sense or not, but basically you get the idea. So I just colored in the, that to-do list um, with my yellow marker. Okay, then on the other page, I decided to draw a sketch of a girl, and that was me, I think. I don't know. Anyway, so I drew this uh, sketch of a girl, and she was basically holding this gigantic pencil, which she used to write down the to-do list. Basically, this is her to-do list, and she wrote it down with this gigantic pencil. 
So that's what I drew and I also in the corner wrote down work, work, work. Then I just gave it an outline and yeah. And since the page was looking really empty, I decided to draw this large circle around the girl and I painted that in some red watercolor just to kind of finish it up. So that's what I'm doing right now. And here's the final page. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this week's video on Creative Agas. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I'm going to give you guys my honest feedback but guys I don't think my last page was really that good because I hadn't really put like my best effort into like making it. So honestly my last page for this episode was just, I don't know, it was just not that great. I did not like it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments but yeah that was just my opinion. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you did. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next week for another video. Bye!